Hey, what is going on guys? It's Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft mod showcase for you guys today. This is the Minecraft Natural Disasters mod or the Nature Reborn mod for Minecraft 1.6.4 and what this mod does is it adds for randomly occurring natural disasters to your Minecraft world to spice things up a little bit. Um, I know back uh, within vanilla Minecraft you could have like cool things like rain, but in this it takes it to the next level with sinkholes, volcanoes, meteorites, and earthquakes, which is really, really sick. So of course, um, I do want to go over a couple things in this mod first. Now you can't actually craft um, the natural disasters or anything like that. It pretty much all happens on a random chance. I was reading on the forums, a lot of people were saying it may take like an hour, but if you're playing like Minecraft Survival Legit, which I think it would actually be pretty cool to add this to one of my mod pack series, because it'd be pretty cool just randomly building and then next minute your house is a volcano. It'd be pretty cool, but uh, yeah, so we're going to show all these off with the creative inventory that lets us uh, actually choose and spawn them um, like they would uh, randomly spawn in the game, but it also adds other elements elements to your world as well to make it a little dynamic, um, but it also gives tall, uh, trees, tall glass, and flat, uh, sorry, trees, tall grass, I keep, for some reason I keep calling grass glass, it's just, uh, tall grass, flowers, and yeah, and flowers, the ability to grow, water to erode, and lava to smelt the ground. And all these elements will over time change the Minecraft world you survive in. So that sounds pretty cool. It'll, uh, yeah, some new little physics to the um, actual Minecraft, which sounds pretty good. But I don't see it eroding. I think it only erodes dirt for now. And I haven't seen any of these uh, grow yet. It, it seems to, like, sort of replicate an overgrown sort of Minecraft, I think. But uh, anyway, let's get to the natural disasters. Now, I've had to back up this world because I'm pretty sure this place is going to get destroyed. And my first intentions was to go on my Johto map that I've been using a lot of my mod showcases on. And uh, just have a volcano in like Newbark Town or something. Which is what I was going to do, but then it wouldn't let me do it with the mod versions. And I just gave up. So I just came back to my mod house. And uh, yeah, I backed this one up because I am really, really excited to see what happens. So let's start with the meteors. So so this is going to be quite interesting. I haven't seen any of these in game yet, so this will be my first time seeing it as well. So let's get started with some meteorites. Oh baby. Uh, nothing. Oh! Oh, okay! Oh, oh okay! <laughs> what? Oh my god, look! There's the meteorite! Wow, that's sick! Wow, I completely missed that. It came in on an angle. I, I don't know if I just missed that or if I was lagging or what. But that completely blew up our track. All right, let's 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 take it away from uh, from our spawn. I want to see if you can actually see the meteor. I don't think you can. I think it just all happens at once. So let's see. Um, I saw like a, a glimmer of it at one stage. Oh, there it is. You can see it coming in. And you see like a marker point there. Oh, that's sick. It has like all these little uh, particles, big particles actually that uh, track it. That's awesome. And uh, it looks like this meteorite even has some resources like gold in it. That would be really cool to see that at night. Let's try and do one at nighttime actually. Because that would be really cool if you're just like sitting at home, looking out the window, um, looking out for mobs and stuff. And then next thing you see a meteorite coming to your house and uh, you can just go in and mine some gold at night. That would be pretty cool. Alright, let's let's go again. Let's, uh, let's go over here. Alright, meteorite. Go. Alright, let's see if we can see. It seems to come from a random angle every time. Uh, there we go. There it is. It's coming in. And it seems like I have like a marker spot in it or something. I, I didn't set the time to night. I do apologize. I was meant to set the time to night so it would actually look cool. Um, let's actually set that to actual night and make sure it's dark. Okay. What did this one do? This looks like a weird meteorite. It looks like it's made a different one with diamonds in it. Maybe that's like, there's different types of meteorites you can get. I, that, that's like a cuboid one. That is really weird. <laughs> um, let's, yeah, okay, let's do one more meteorite. Because I want to make sure I get a good understanding of this one. Because I want to see if it has any, oh, here it is, here it is, you see it? Just to see that outside your window at night, next thing you see is a meteorite, just boom. Impact, that enderman got wrecked. Um, and I don't really see the meteorite yet, I can't find it. It's down here, I think. Oh, yeah, it went through the water. It didn't even care. Oh, we went through a cavern. Awesome. <laughs> oh, my God, that got wrecked. And there's the diamond, I think, in there. God, okay. I I'm pretty done with this guy right now. <laughs> he is just wrecking everything. All right, so that is the meteorite. Um, next up, we have the earthquakes. So let's just have an earthquake right through our house. That sounds pretty cool. Um, so I think it will work just like a ravine. I'm not too sure because that's the only thing I can think of a ravine is uh, sort of like an earthquake. So... Oh, sorry, what I think of an earthquake. So let's see. It's 
Blitz the ground. Yep, okay, random cracks of TNT. Okay, yeah, this looks just like a ravine. It's pretty much like create your own ravine. Of course, minus the TNT explosions, but this didn't go through the house like I wanted it to. I wanted to cut through that way, but uh, it's just gone through and cut our archery range off and decimated the uh, <laughs> this place even more. Okay, wow, look, it's still going. It is still going down, everybody. Wow, this thing goes real deep. Earthquakes are real. I'm, I'm just a little shamed because I thought that, like, I guess it would be pretty hard for, like, your whole screen to shake. Oh, it even has, like, offcuts to it as well. Oh, wait. Oh, it's done, like, a whole... It's It's gone and expanded all the way out here, the little cracks out. That's sick. That is awesome. It isn't just, like, one straight line. It has, like, random cracks out. That's awesome. All right, so that is the earthquake. Um, sinkhole. Let's try this one out. Let's try and sink our front yard. Our mod house is getting destroyed right now. This is crazy. All right. So yeah, let's do, let's sink our front house. Okay. Oh my God. It is eating it up. It lo oh look, the zombie's going to get caught. No, the zombie. Oh, uh, well, I don't really care about you anyway. You're not actually going to get sucked up. I don't think. Oh, you might actually. I think you're exactly going to get sucked up. Oh, not you safe. And it looks like at the bottom it does spawn a lava pit. I'm not sure if that's natural or not. But that water has come in here and said no. Look, it looks like a little bit like a yin and yang symbol. It's completely 50% lava and water, I believe. That's actually pretty cool. Um, yin and yang with water. So that is a sinkhole. Oh my god, it came all the way into our house. Damn. They don't mess around. Alright, the last one, volcano. Let's put this right inside our house. This is going to be fun. Okay, three, two, one. Let's get out of here. Go, go, go. All right, let's see what's happening here. Oh, where is it? Okay, I can see lots of uh, obsidian starting to spawn and form. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Oh, no. Imagine a volcano. You're just inside your house, and then you see obsidian just starting to gather everywhere, and you're just starting to freak out. Like, what is this? What's going on? Oh, no. Just the obsidian starts taking over your house. Oh, no. I feel like this is the big one, guys. Look, there's, a, there's particle effects coming out. There's lava starting to come out. There's red wool that burns, doesn't it? Was that part of the house or is that part of the lava? I don't. I think that's part of the house. I'm not too sure why there would be red stuff. I hope this isn't its full form because that would be very anticlimactic if it was. Um, no, it's still building. It seems like the longest one to build. Um, it does have random outcrops of iron though. So that's pretty good. It might have other resources in here as well. Um... But I, this thing better erupt or I'll be very, very disappointed. Very, very... So this is where I placed it, I believe. And that's where the lava is building up. Uh, oh, okay. I guess it's sort of turned all of these uh, blocks into obsidian. I guess I better do it over an actual um, ground structure instead of something that's already built because it's very awkwardly placed. Um, I don't think this thing's going to erupt, though. I'm not too sure. Um, it's still building blocks on the side. Like, is it the lava is still at coming out? So I think we're not done yet. Look at the black particles. They're huge. Uh-oh, I think it's starting to emit a lot of black particles. Look at them go. Oh, no. Is it going to blow up? It's still building blocks. I don't know if this lava is, like, actually meant to be the core of it or all or something. I love if lava just blasts right in my face right now as I'm sitting here. That would be actually pretty funny. Uh, it seems to have broken in. Let me just see where else the obsidian's taken over here. All right, well, it's nearly blocked off this place. I'm getting here. Okay, this place is getting absolutely wrecked. I'm going to miss the explosion if there is one. I'm trying to fight my way through here and see what's on this other side. Wait, whoa, this went deep. Damn, this went all... The whoa! My God! Look at that! It's fully entrenched our house in this volcano outcrop. That's nuts! Look at it! That's sick! That's actually really cool for just, like, building cool things and stuff. Like, if you wanted to build a volcano, you could just put this down and it would make a pretty decent one. I'm really, really interested, though, to see if this explodes or not. There's lots of lava coming, a lot more lava um, being made, so I don't know if it's ready to blow. But I want to see if it's still growing. Uh, there's definitely a lot more black particles coming out. Yeah, it's still actually growing. There's more blocks being placed bit by bit. It's very slow transformation, but I, oh, this is sick. I should have started with this. Um, then the earthquake just to add to it all. I think we should just throw a meteorite on this just to... Oh, look at that. It's getting lots of black smoke now. Okay, I think this one's ready to blow. Oh, that would be... Re I really want to see it blow. In fact, let's just make sure... Oh, it's taking over the house completely. Let's just get rid of the roof, I guess. Let's just try and clean it up. Because if, if it does explode, I really want to see it all, you know? 
I want to see it all just go boom. But it might not actually explode. It might just form a random lava outcrop that just uh, has lava that goes everywhere. I think that's what it might actually be because it would be pretty accurate. Um, wow, it's still growing. That's nuts. It's still adding more stone and obsidian slowly to the outside. Um, I'm not sure if it'll gap up that hole. I think it just replaces other blocks and not essentially the uh, actual um, blocks in here, but it has replaced a lot of these stone blocks that are part of the house with obsidian. Um, tons of black smoke now. Let's try and get in here. If we make our way in, looks like we can. Not really. Oh my god, this is really starting to get heated up. Really heated up. Wow, just one place and then you have like this transformation that takes a while. So you've got a clear warning to get out of your house if it does become a hot spot for a volcano. You've got some time. Not much, but you've got some time. Uh, it seemed to have evaporated that water down there as well. I think it just makes it pure lava. Um, wow, I, I just want to make sure I get the full grasp of because if there is an explosion, I'll be very salty. This thing's still building on the outside, I think. Let's see how far it stretches out. Yep, blocks are still updating out here. You can see, like, stone being added and... Let's see how, let's see the distance of that. That is nuts. That's a different lava source. Wow. Pretty much like a whole render screen away. And that is at the distance of the volcano. That is nuts. All right, let's slam a, I reckon let's slam a meteorite in this bad boy just to uh, break it down a little bit for us. A meteorite on a volcano. That would be pretty sick. Um, and it's going to happen right now. Oh, baby, where is it? Where's the volcano? There, There's the meteor. There's the meteor. Boom, boom, boom. That didn't do anything. What happened there? Oh, there's the meteorite. I think because it was actually on the top, it uh, it didn't actually do it. So there you go. Actually, meteorites do have like an encasement of obsidian underneath them. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, volcanoes have to erupt. So I'll be very, very disappointed if this one doesn't do just that. Um, I don't know how long to wait around because it might not happen. Uh, I want to try and throw another meteorite in here and see if that actually does that again. Um, look around. There it is. Here it is. Here it comes. Bang. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do it. Hmm. And the amount of diamond seems to vary as well. That is interesting. Oh, come on, I want to see this, please. I want to see the volcano go boom. Just like they did like with vinegar and stuff at school. And they put like the vinegar and then they just went boom. That was really cool. I like doing that one. <laughs> it's better be the same. I'll be very, very disappointed. All right. And I got to say though, this mod definitely can rate 8 out of 8. Great job, mate. <laughs> uh, let's just get rid of it all. And I think that is the full form. No, I would love to say it's the full form, but Blocks is still updating on the outside, which makes me think that it's still trying to uh, perform. But there you go, a naturally spawned volcano inside my house. That would be a great way to start a series. <laughs> Imagine that you start a house and uh, it just does that. That would be the worst. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap this mod showcase up there. I hope you guys did enjoy this Natural Disasters mod showcase. It was a lot of fun to review and uh, definitely worth your uh, time in checking out and maybe adding if you have like a mod pack or a series. It uh, might be worth adding. It's 1.6.4 and uh, would be really, really cool to add to your world for some nice little random effects like this. You might get some nice resources or you might get your whole house encased in lava. But uh, either way, this is an awesome mod. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, it would be awesome to have your support with a like rating below. And I will see you back for another brand new Minecraft mod showcase sometime soon. Have a good day. See you next time.